Hi, my name is Garrett Stangle with Balance Fitness. This is my friend and colleague Jess Davies, a physical therapist with Body Mechanics, who's going to be assisting me today on sharing some unilateral functional exercises that will help to challenge your current workout program. Whether you're in the gym or you're at home, wherever you choose to do these exercises, the unilateral focus is going to help to strengthen weak areas on the body as well as work in the core in every exercise that you do. And Jess will help make sure that we've got safe modifications for anybody who wants to try these. The first exercise we're going to learn about today is called a pistol squat. Pistol squat takes, well squats in general are very commonly used for strengthening the whole lower body. Um, getting movement at the ankles, the knees, and the hips. When we transition to a single leg, there's a lot more work that goes on through the hip, including the hip rotators and hip abductors, the muscles that stabilize the joint during movement. So Garrett, why don't you show us our movement today? The first thing you can notice, Garrett uses his arms as a counterbalance so that as he's going low and his hips are descending, his arms give a little balance to that weight. From a movement standpoint, you can see how much dorsiflexion or ankle motion is necessary as well as, as knee and hip flexion. Not all individuals will have that much movement available. Why don't we see that from a side angle? So when ankle or knee or hip is restricted, the same motion can be done just within a limited range of motion. Okay, but sometimes when we go to a single leg, we lose control. So we're gonna offer a modification of that same exercise, providing a little bit of support from the chair and also starting from a higher surface. Still using that same weight shift that we saw before. The hands reach forward as the hips descend to help counterbalance his movement. One of the important things, especially as we go to unilateral work, is the tracking of the knee over the toe. So you'll see as Garrett moves, his knee always lines up right over the foot that he's moving over. When the hip is not doing an adequate job of providing stabilization, we oftentimes see the knee collapse in, which not only puts stress through the inside of the joint itself, but can also translate to more pressure through the foot and ankle. 